But I actually uh, want to start with uh, an email that we just got minutes ago from Acting Commissioner Richard Worley. He says that the officers listed are a mix of active duty officers and those assigned to administrative duties or even suspended without pay. So to recap, there's been a lot of back and forth in the previous years about how many names were on the list and what it meant for those officers. And this afternoon, Ivan Bates said he wanted to set the record straight. Bates' office released a list of 11 current officers and 49 former officers who were deemed untrustworthy and therefore unreliable in court. And then Bates went on, went one step further, pulling back the curtain and sharing details of the criteria his office will use to add officers to the list in the future. Any officer with a pending criminal charge or criminal conviction for something that calls into question that officer's credibility testified truthfully will be placed on the do not call list. ASAs in this office, office will not call any officers on the DNC list for that officer's testimony. And Bates referenced what he called the stain of corruption within the BPD left over from the disgraced gun trace task force. It says transparency with this do not call list is a must. You can find the list of officers and the new criteria for who makes the list right now on the WBAL TV app. For the 11 News I team, I'm Tolly Taylor.